Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. We're gardening here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today is a very exciting day because we are going to be putting together and installing our arbor, which is going to be a beautiful structure, adding nice winter interest, also adding a place where we can put climbing plants and beautiful flowers through the summer. So we're going to be putting it together. We mail ordered it and it's here and let's get it going. Come along with us and let's see how it looks. There's actually not a whole lot to talk about with regard to this arbor. We ordered it from a kit and Dave is doing a great job putting it together. We just have to follow the instructions and uh, in pretty much no time it was looking good. friends we have an arbor yes Dave put it together uh, it was a kit that we bought from Wayfair and I would say the one that didn't put it together that it was fairly straightforward the directions I mean if you can do a piece of Ikea furniture and you can wield a drill you can probably do this project just make sure that you have a ladder make sure that you have two people so that you have some spot coverage in case of imbalances or anything like that but it's beautiful I'm really excited about it. And now we're going to be placing it into concrete footers um, over at the entrance to the back garden. And so that is the next step. Okay, we have the arbor installed. We've got it in concrete footings. We had a little bit of trouble with the plum and the level because our yard is so sloped. Um, this is currently plum straight up and down, but it looks like it's crooked because of how much our yard slopes. Let me give you the wide angle. Okay, so you can see that the arbor is in place. It, uh, the concrete's currently wet, so we're not able to take the supports away yet. Um, and so it's beautiful. And so the, deba the d debate right now is, does it look like it's leaning to the left, even though it's not? But is it going to make everyone who views it think, oh my gosh, your arbor is falling down to the left because of the slope that falls down to the right? The fence is certainly not level along the top rail. And actually the poles, I would guess, have moved out of plumb over the years as well. So, and even the telephone pole tree, or the telephone pole right back there, it also is not plum. I can tell just by looking at it compared to the arbor. So the question is, should we jiggle the arbor a little bit to the right so that it is not exactly plum, but looks a little more plum by the naked eye? Or should we leave it exactly plum like it is uh, so that when we grow plants on it, the plants don't pull it down? That is the question. When we look at it from up here at the gate and sidewalk, it looks absolutely perfectly right. Um, I think, I think it's good. It's just when you're down here right by it that it looks like it's leaning to the left. When you compare it to the fence behind it, but uh, yeah, I think it has to stay like it is. Good and plumb. Yay! Here's a quick peek at the footings. On this side, this is the downhill side. Uh, the uh, level is quite a bit higher. It, it ended up being like 
I don't know, six inches higher than the other side. So good thing it has those metal stakes because the stakes in the concrete is what's going to hold this into place. So um, yeah, the stakes are on this side of here. Um, so these are going to be kind of sticking up out of the ground for a little bit. We'll probably, I don't know, definitely hide it with plants, but maybe also keep a brick under it or something. Over here, they're actually a little bit below the surface of the ground. Um, they're not supposed to be touching the concrete, so uh, we've got it up out of the concrete like that. And down over here, we actually dug the concrete out a little bit so that it's off of the wood. This is just a shim to make sure it doesn't sink. All right, so yeah, it, re <laughs> it really looks like it's leaning to the left from here, but it's not it's perfectly plumb. So hooray. As we wait for the concrete to set, I think it's gonna take a few days before I'm ready to plant anything here. So I'm just gonna end this video now and I hope you'll come back and visit us again and watch how it looks over the course of the summer. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye-bye.